Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum my brothers and sisters I hope you're all praying your salads as well as looking to the Quran and Hadith for guidance in your everyday life If you're watching this video and it's salah time please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please also check out the description section of this video to get my new dawah products and to support the channel I was sent a clip by a channel member of a recent panel show with Muslim psychologist Sadia Khan hosted by Peril Davis from Just Pearly Things Sister Sadia Sadia is a British-born Pakistani Muslim that is based in Dubai and yes I have the exact same ethnic and religious background as her. I also have a master's degree in psychology therefore I can say from observing her content that we have very similar outlooks on many topics. Pero is an atheist and quite recently was involved in some Islamophobic online controversy when she ignorantly insulted the Prophet Muhammad by expressing herself in a very western aloof manner. Don't get me wrong, I've done videos on Pero before where she spoke positively about Islam and even hinted at considering joining the faith. She's also hinted the same about Christianity. However, not only did Pero make ignorant comments about Muslims right after that, she went on a podcast with well-known enemies of Islam, Apostate Prophet and David Wood. These guys are proud Islam Islamophobes and to be honest I did lose a lot of respect for Pero when she collaborated with them. In the discussion between Pero and Sadia regarding male and female dynamics, Sister Sadia speaks from an Islamic perspective where she discusses relationships having a purpose in a long-term context as well as highlighting the fact that female promiscuity brings down the value of women and the men who choose to make them long-term partners. Pero agreed with half of what Sister Sadia said. She felt a woman's value was lowered by promiscuity but Pero stated a man who chooses promiscuous women has no detriment to his value and the context Pearl was speaking from is an atheist casual dating one. I disagree with Pearl because if you look at recent examples of well-known youtubers like Adam22 and Destiny who are married to promiscuous women they are literally ridiculed for this type of behavior and from what you will see in the clip Pearl dismissed Sadia's correct stance as cultural with the same ignorance she had towards Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him with her limited knowledge of Islam. If you would like me to react to any of your suggested videos please become a channel member via the join button on my page. Let's roll the clip. Just like when you're a woman of value, when you're a woman who gets men uh, treating her well, mm. you don't be, you're not screaming men are trash. You're not angry against mm. men. Uh, you don't have those attitudes because to you, men have always been good. Similarly, if you find men with high value, they don't experience these type of women who are running games on them, cheating on them, uh, talking out the side of their mouth to them. They don't experience are that. You, we can agree. NBA players get <laughs> Right? <laughs> the number one reason they go broke is getting the wrong exactly. pregnant. Yeah, because they choose badly. But if you're a, real, a man of high standards, you don't choose badly. The vetting that's process. Jeff, that some, Jeff Bezos. Yeah, but the just, a high value like, man like, okay, has a good vetting process. Take, I think <laughs> but, but then he's not high value. No, so, a high value oh, man has a... Just like he's you were saying, high nice, value because he picked the wrong no, woman? No, but just like you were saying, nice girls don't can, get with bad boys. Men of value can spot a thought from a mile off. And it's that simple. You can spot a thought. That's oh. one of your skills as a masculine man. Alpha men I, don't I, I, tolerate I, promiscuity. I, I think, I think, I they think. They don't have promiscuous women Pearl, in their lives. The okay, okay, thoughts. let's, you like, can what, spot a thought. A, okay, what is a thought? Uh, promiscuous, promiscuous. At what point? At what point? Uh, whatever How many bodies? Level, by 19, Muslim, by, so I've got a very different <laughs> version. Zero bodies. Like, zero. <laughs> minus figures. Is like, no, I'm saying, <laughs> like, yeah, 1950s, 40s yeah, standards. It's, like, two. I've got a very different standard because of my culture and my religion. So I can't really speak on other people. Mm -hmm. I really can't. Um, so, but what I would say is one of the definitions of an alpha man is you don't tolerate promiscuity and you vet women before they come into your world. Mm -hmm. You don't let any old riffraff in your house. And if you do, then you're not you're not high value. Just because mm -hmm. you've got money and you've got status, that in itself is not enough. You've mm -hmm. got to have levels to it. And mm -hmm. the levels to it is you don't let any riffraff in I, your home. I, I agree with you on the point mm -hmm. that... You know, I do think men should vet women. Yeah. And I do think men should have high standards. Yeah. Um, where I disagree with you is I, I think it's silly to say that you a girl can't trick a guy. I think even if he's alpha, even if he's high value, even if he has this, this, and this. Yeah. So what I would say is if you have, especially with these NBA players, mm -hmm. most of their women have like their bodies out on Instagram and then this, that, and the other. And then if you can't spot from that, then you are not high value. Oh. What about like Tom Brady's wife? Uh Giselle? Mm -hmm. uh, do you think do you think she was a walking red flag? I just think um, Victoria's Secret, well, it depends what you, the uh, thing mm -hmm. is, again, like my values are a little bit <laughs> skewed because I'm Muslim, but the thing is, if your woman sells her body and that's her primary source of income, mm -hmm. she's going to have more liberal values.
And when you bring a woman with liberal values into your home, you have to expect liberal outcomes. That's mm. all. So even Tom Brady, you're <laughs> dating a Victoria's Secret model mm -hmm. who makes her money out of her body. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you've got to recognize with that comes different types of values. And so, yeah. So do you think then he's not alpha? Yeah, you lose and your he's, he's, what? He's no. not. No. So you think Tom alpha. Brady is not high value? Any man who allows promiscuity and that kind of uh, uh, to mother his children, I don't believe is alpha because alpha men are so protective. They're so possessive. They don't even risk the idea of cuckoldry, the idea of their woman having potential. This is if we're talking evolutionary mm -hmm. psychology mm -hmm. sense. The alpha man in the pack is my woman can never go with another man because I'm not wasting my money or my resources on somebody else's kid. Now, if you take that risk, in any way, shape, or form, you lose some of your alpha. Minimizing the fact that we live in a different society. So women in the Western society have a different mindset than yeah. mm. women elsewhere. Yeah. So what you're saying would work in so many other places in the world, yeah. but it wouldn't work in the West. Yeah, mm. maybe because I'm from Pakistan. In my mm. culture, if you even have one body count, you're right off. You're mm. just a right off. And it's that. And any man that does go with you, he's then seen in a lower way. So maybe my mentality is obviously skewed from that, but I can but, still think it applies even when you're talking I mean, a guy can get a perfect girl. <laughs> Like she could be a virgin. She could still turn 28, 29 and, and say, oh, you know what? The, la the last 10 years I've been missing out and leave him. But chances are less. The, you're, you're right. The chances, chances are, are less. I, I, if I you're you're, a, you're, you're yeah. right. The chances are less. But then does that make that guy not alpha? No, that no, doesn't no. make sense. The, the thing is, he did his it, say if he took mm -hmm. a 21 year old who then decided at 28 to become, mm -hmm. you know, whatever she wants. He did his vetting by choosing select. Uh, when he chose her, he chose right. Mm -hmm. But if you're choosing a girl at 22 mm -hmm. who's been, you know, doing the mm -hmm. most and then uh, wanting her to mm -hmm. become a wife, you lose your alpha because part of your alpha is foresight. Mm -hmm. You can spot what's going to be the good mother of your child. If you don't have that foresight, that you lose your alpha. If you're a woman that's looking for a long-term relationship, there's no point dating Drake. So, so... <laughs> no, but that's not... You're, you're saying I wouldn't date him. You're yeah. saying I wouldn't date him because he's not looking for something yeah, serious. Yeah, I wouldn't date him because it makes no sense to him. It would yeah, just be right. a body be count. Because, you're not saying I wouldn't date him. You're saying I wouldn't date him because he wouldn't take me long-term. I wouldn't date anyone where I can't see the that person settling down and creating a life with me why would i date you but to even drake's baby mama was a porn star and stuff to me that makes him lose value well, what do you think about men who take pictures of their women that are making only fans and they're the ones filming it for her to post does it reduce his masculinity yeah, right yeah. having a promiscuous woman does what so reduces you, your masculinity so have you just generally peach. having a association but you with like promiscuous the, the women point, reduces point, your alpha the, so there are pimps that are still yeah, alpha, is Andrew isn't Tate it? not He's a pimp. <laughs> That's where he is. I don't think he'd marry a woman that would be posting or having an OnlyFans and stuff. And if he did, it still, to me, it would reduce your masculinity. Part of masculinity isn't just money and appearance. It's that's also a, protectiveness that's, that's over a, your women. Pimps yeah, are very I, I, I'll masculine. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Pimps are very I'll explain masculine. to you why. But, but like, you're looking at it from, like, men can lose their alpha. Absolutely. Like, but, because that, but, that's, but that's at a different, like... Like women are, you're looking at it from a woman's point of view because yeah. women have value and they lose it. If 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 a man is in the top two percent of men, one percent of men, I, I don't think Drake loses his alpha because he's a lot of. Your man's not going to feel high status and important if you've had a whole bunch of sexual partners because you're promiscuous. So obviously that's a down. So that's no. Maybe in your culture, yeah. you personally, but I don't think most girls are going to have any issue dating Drake because. He had a, a baby with a corn star. No, but with evolutionary psychology, which is the, mm -hmm. defines mm -hmm. the whole of the time, part of masculinity is providing and protecting. Protecting means protecting her from other men. That's mm -hmm. what protecting means in mm -hmm. masculine terms. Mm -hmm. And when you have a promiscuous woman, that means you either she's promiscuous before or after mm -hmm. you, whatever it is, that protection element isn't there enough. Mm -hmm. And that's what I mean by that. Because if you cannot be a masculine man without that protective quality, mm -hmm. you can't on. A man that doesn't protect women is not masculine. Now, part of that protection is making sure no other man can access that woman because mm -hmm. that's my womb. That's my baby. Mm -hmm. That's my oven. Now, if you don't have, if you don't exercise with that mentality, you lose your masculinity. It's how human nature is defined. Let's take my religion out of it. If we're talking about men living in prehistoric evolutionary times, let's take even before that. He's protecting all the 
let's say, for example, we live in a jungle society and you need to make sure that you're getting resources for your kids and only yeah. your kids. Uh-huh. If you've got a woman that's doing the most, you could be feeding kids that aren't yours. Your survival is reduced. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're biologically predispositioned to spread their seed to everybody. But not to, to look after everybody else's kid. I mean, they don't want to look after any kid. Yeah. yeah. So that's why you don't choose a promiscuous woman. I, I don't think they should choose a promiscuous woman. Yeah. What I'm arguing with you is you say, because someone cho- chooses the wrong woman, not they're alpha. not alpha. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. But again, I must point out that Sister Sadia is speaking from an Islamic and evolutionary standpoint, whereas Pero is speaking from a more atheist and male casual dating context. Pero brought up Andrew Tate to back up her statement, even labelling him a pimp due to the haram business he was involved in before he became Muslim. And you would have noticed I cut an Andrew Tate clip in the middle of the main clip to basically show that even the main example of a male archetype Pero used to back her point up actually agrees with Sister Sadia and not Pero. Let's give Sadia Khan some credit here. She had Pero and a panel of non-Muslim people telling her she was wrong, but she did not budge. They were saying her point of view would not work in the West, which is complete nonsense as it clearly works for many Muslims in the West. The problem isn't her point of view. The problem is their Western programming. They clearly need Islam. I'm impressed by how the sister did not bend her Muslim values despite the social pressure and she has my respect for standing firm in her Islamic faith, alhamdulillah. The sister was 100% right when she said men who wife up women that are promiscuous or that do nudity online are looked down upon in Islam, as well as the women who perform such acts in the first place. But if you ask anyone from any culture the same thing without mentioning Islam and they answer honestly, they would agree agree with the Islamic view. Pero may be quite conservative in many of her views, but she's coming across very liberal in this clip. Sister Sadia is right. If men choose to be with liberal women that are totally brainwashed by feminism, they're signing up for trouble and sending a clear signal that they are not savvy enough to vet and handle good women for relationships. As a side note, men who are totally engrossed in damaging ideologies like red pill and don't look to an ultimate truth, Islam, to dictate their lives, they are also destined for casual relationships with damaged women and degeneracy. We've heard what high-profile Muslims like Sadia Khan and Andrew Tate think about this matter. But let's go to the Quran and see what Almighty God has told us. The Quran says, Vile women are for vile men, and vile men are for vile women, and good women are for good men, and good men are for good women. Men are the protectors and maintainers of women, because Allah has given one more strength than the other, and because they support them from their means. Therefore, righteous women are the truly devout ones, and guard their intimacy in their husband's absence, which Allah has ordained to be guarded. To those women on whose part men fear disloyalty and ill conduct admonish them and refuse to share their beds. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and turn on notifications as I'll be posting new content daily. Jazakallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.